Hey folks, Ashley Earl, ThingsIndustry.com. And what I want to talk about today is conceptualizing harvesting connective tissue. Now, <clears throat> you can think about it through your head, but until you get your mitts on doing it, it's uh, fairly difficult. So we're going to pretend this orange is a palette. <clears throat> it works out well. So the connective tissue, um, I'm going to blog, I'll sort of give you a video about why you would use it. Um, here I'm going to show you how you can practice it at home. Really simple. So an orange is a really good thing, uh, practice medium, because you've got sort of the epithelium, if you may, you've got your connective tissue, and then you've got bone. So in your brain, or in your, in your mind, visualize um, using good old Stanley knife to dissect off the epithelium and then cleave off the connective tissue, and then you use that for a graft. Okay, so in a typical, there's a number of different types of um, incisions. Imagine this is the palate. I'm just going to, so the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like a trap door. Trap door is like this. And here's your greater palatine foramen. <coughs> These are some molar teeth. Premolar, premolar, canine. So there's your trap door. So this is the easiest way to do it. So we're going to go straight to bone or straight to orange. And the beauty is you can eat this after. And then we're gonna go distally. I'm gonna make this big so you can see it. We wanna stay away from this foramen. Maybe stay away from a bit of the artery too because you get retraction if you sever it. And then it'll be difficult to stop bleeding. It's not impossible, but it'll be tough. So we've got our trapdoor incision. What we're gonna do, I mean, there's different ways of doing this. What I'm gonna show you is just, what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take our blade and there's lots of different little tools but this is just practice, so don't worry about the, you, know, you can do it in this order, but think of the practice. So what we want to do is we want to remove this epithelium. So you don't want to thin it out too much because it'll necrose and die. I've done that. And the reason why we're keeping it a trap door versus one right here I mean, you can do that also. We're trying to maintain the vasculature. So like uh, one of my resident colleagues, because I necrosed another um, flap, I think because of my poor flap design. So imagine the greater palatine art arteries back here, blood flow is going this way. So if you cut that off, you make this nice and narrow, you probably, this will uh, necrose on you. So we're just continuing on creating a split thickness flap, if you may. Do, 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 do. So I'm removing the rind, and you see this is classic right here. So, I mean, does it really matter? No. Is it not, it, I mean, is it? Yeah. Anyway, so I'm not getting to that. Okay. So we have our, you can see in here, split thickness. One of the things you want to do, so now I need to do is I need to go like this, I need to go like that to the connective tissue. So one of the things you can do is take your whatever instrument you're using, elevator, woodson, whatever, and just stretch the overlying powder mucosa. Use your table knife. So I'm just stretching it. And what this is gonna allow me to do, you don't wanna tear it, just stretch it. Okay, so now what I can do is I can take my, whatever my blade, and then go to bone underneath. So you see that? I'm going to bone right here. So we're leaving the connective tissue, or leaving the gingival tissue, palatal mucosa attached. And then we're gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna make a straight cut like this down here. So I'm going to bone here, going to bone here, essentially everywhere I'm going to bone on the connective tissue. And then what I'm gonna do is we'll elevate our connective tissue. So let's get under there. Just use your woods in or whatever. Do 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 do. See me getting in there. So you can see now I've kind of got a pocket. There's my connective tissue. There's my epithelium. And I'll take my snazzy adds and forceps. And there's your connective tissue graft. And then what you do is you're gonna so this mucosa stays here and this what's and like a free gingival graft, where you take the whole chunk and that's it. This gets sutured back on, and the patient actually doesn't report a lot of 
uh, pain because the periosteum is still covered. Well, periosteum you took with it, so the bone is still covered. Okay, so here's your connective tissue graft. And then you do what you want with it. Don't drop it on the floor like one of my colleagues did last year. It won't take. And you can clean it up, and that's it. So there's the concept of a connective tissue graft using an orange. So get your hands on one. Get your hands on an orange, and then eat it after because it's good for you. Cheers.